Hello friends, welcome back to AutomationTestingInsider.com. Hope you guys are doing good. I know this is very difficult time for all of us, but uh, you can utilize your time to learn new things, new technologies. So that is what I can say. So today I come up with answers of the questions which I have posted on my blog for Selenium. So here I have listed down different questions on Selenium earlier. Selenium and automation testing, Selenium locators, theoretical questions on Selenium. So I have divided them into different parts and uh, today I come up with answers. But before I start going uh, through one by one all the tabs, so here you can go to Selenium tutorials and uh, here I am covering all the topics of Selenium web driver so you can uh, go through. Another thing is Java questions and answers already I have provided different questions and answers and this is uh, Java for Selenium. So these are the different tabs you can explore on my blog automationtestinginsider.com. So today mainly we will discuss about uh, Selenium questions and answers. So if you click this the first one first part Selenium in automation testing and uh, I have provided answers of uh, five topics today till here and rest of, rest of the topics I will cover in coming days probably in uh, two weeks I will uh, I should be able to complete so let's go one by one selenium and automation testing so here you can see what is selenium and what are the different components and versions of selenium so this is uh, uh, kind of theoretical questions in this section uh, selenium and automation testing so these are the different uh, components of selenium here you can go through answer of selenium answer of this particular question what is latest selenium tool what is the difference between automation testing and manual testing uh, what are the different benefits of having automation testing in your project what are the popular test automation tools for functional testing so in some question I have provided the link as well so here we have very good article in software testing help so you can go through that what is the main purpose of automation testing so this is another question likewise I have collected different questions guys and these are really important questions what are the testing types that can be supported by selenium And in case if you find difficulty uh, while going through answers of all these questions, then let me know through comments uh, so that I can take it further. And uh, uh, probably I'll create separate videos on uh, some difficult questions. So this is very important question. Explain your project roles and uh, experience summary. So here I have given like one to two years. What are the rules? This is for two to four years this four years plus and uh, yeah what are the difficulties you have faced in object identification so in this part we have mainly uh, theoretical stuff how you handled error in test scripts so these are the different exceptions in selenium and this is very important question explain automation uh, life cycle ATLC so here I have provided a very good uh, answer on this like we have automation feasibility analysis the first step second is test plan test design environment setup so in this way I have provided the answer generate test results the sixth step does manual bring more ROI rate of investment on automation uh, sorry or automation brings more ROI so this is another question which type of test cases exclude for automation okay so test cases that are newly designed and not executed manually at least once so we cannot automate right because uh, newly designed mean that means definitely we need to check uh, we need to understand the flow and then it will the 
I mean the scripting will take definitely time. First we'll execute manually and then we'll go for automation. And uh, main stages in automation testing lifecycle. So these are the different stages which we have discussed above. How do you measure success of automation testing? And in some cases, some question I have provided, uh, I have given comment like this. Answer will be provided soon. So I'll come up with answer very soon for some questions. And how to calculate our automation efforts. So I have, here I have provided the link. So let's go over the second question. Second part, Selenium locators. So what are the different locators and oh, so that can be used in selenium and their priorities so these are the different uh, selenium locators what is the difference between slash and double slash so answer is given here what is an x path what is the difference between absolute and relative x path give example And uh, if you go to my blog here, uh, Java for Selenium related to locators, sorry, this one Selenium tutorial. Here uh, we have uh, separate topics I have covered here locators in Selenium and their priorities. So you can go through it. So parallel, you can see uh, the topics which I have covered as well. Okay, coming to questions. Why CSS selectors have higher priority over XPath expressions? So here reason are given. Different reasons. Okay, what are the names? What are the names of add-ons which can auto-generate the XPath expressions and CSS selector? Firebug, Firepath. These are all deprecated. These two are deprecated, and we have MRI ProPath right now. How to how can we move to nth child element using CSS selector? So here I have given the answer. So likewise you can you can go through all the answers, guys. These are really important as far as interview is concerned, and you can clear your doubts and uh, uh, yeah, you are you can clear your concept as well. What is the use of following sibling? How we can retrieve the dynamic, dy dynamically changing IDs. So we have around uh, list the disabled element from web page. So here I have given the program as well how to find the disabled element. And uh, what else? Yeah, we have 41 questions here. Now let's look at the other question. Oops. Theoretical questions on Selenium. And, uh, again, we have some theoretical stuff. What do you mean by Selenium 1, 2, and 3? Uh, what is the uh, when should I use Selenium Grid? What are the different types of deliverable uh, drivers available in web driver? So these are some uh, theoretical stuff. What are the different commands? Different types of navigation commands in web driver. What are the different types of weights available in web driver? So here I have provided a link. So I have written very good article on weights. In detail, I have uh, explained what are different weights and uh, with example as well. So you can refer this link. What is the difference between assert and verify commands? So in this section we have uh, I think more than 100 questions. Uh, what are the expected conditions that can be used in explicit, explicit weights? What are the different versions of Selenium available uh, which you have used and what are the additional features? Some theoretical questions. Yeah, somewhere I have 
given comment like answer will be provided soon so i'll preparing i'm preparing the answer and uh, will come up with answer very soon so here i have around what is assert class how to use action class which version of eclipse you are using so all questions are very important as far as uh, interview is concerned difference between selenium 1 2 3 4 and uh, one second so we have around 144 questions difference between is displayed and is present is selenium support angular jar okay what is the use of remote web driver so these are uh, different questions on this section theoretical questions user actions and selenium script so this is uh, uh, related to some scripting I mean I mean scripting related questions launching how to launch different uh, how do I launch browser using web driver so here I have given example of uh, Firefox Chrome and I browser how to use find element and find elements what is the difference between find element and find elements okay so all questions are uh, very important for all levels whether you are fresher intermediate or expert i think this would uh, really help everyone how to type into text box text box using selenium how to press key in selenium yeah so these are the different ways uh, different questions for uh, this section how to capture a screenshot in selenium web driver so here i have given the program as well uh, how to clear the text inside the text box using selenium web driver some basic question as well as advanced question as well how to delete cookies how can you find how can you find broker links in page using selenium web driver so so guys in case of any difficulty uh, while going through while uh, uh, going through the answer of these questions let me know so that i can clarify and uh, uh, if possible i'll create separate videos on uh, some of the questions as well and uh, yeah on some questions i have provided the link as well please refer below article how to scroll web page up and down using selenium web driver how to perform double click how to connect to database in selenium so these are different questions in this section how to handle colors in selenium web driver so that also i have provided the answer for that and how to check for uh, 404 using selenium web driver okay http request 404 yeah so these are the different questions uh, you can go through it how to accept ssl untrusted uh, Okay, and what is the command line we have to write inside a batch file to execute a selenium project when we are using test ng so here i have given different steps how to select date in calendar on a web page and uh, uh, web page using selenium so here i have provided the answer how do you count the no total number of rows in web table so this is another question and how do you attach screenshot to a test which tool is using for screenshot attachment okay 
how will you read a CSV file and write some sample code? So this sample code written to read the CSV and uh, how to read data from properties file in Selenium Web Driver. So this is uh, another question. Anyways, uh, you f if you are uh, new to Selenium, then you may you may face problem while uh, going through this some of the questions the advanced level questions but uh, do not worry about that because going forward I'll create the framework from scratch there uh, I'll explain each and everything and currently I'm I have covered uh, one second so so we are going through test engine tutorials as of now almost it is uh, I mean we have covered all the test engine tutorials and here I'll write the uh, articles as well on those topics and later on we are going to start uh, Maven, Maven tutorial and uh, once uh, there are some more topics as well once we are done with all the topics then uh, I'll work on framework so we'll create the framework from scratch from uh, from very basic level okay so this is all about today and uh, yeah stay safe guys stay home and uh, yeah learn some new things new technologies in this time in this difficult time you can uh, utilize your time being at home so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye